Tonight in flashback, it's exactly 50 years since Channel 7 Brisbane began broadcasting. The first program was 7 News, presented by Brian Carl, who joins me now. And welcome back, Brian. Thank you, Sharon. You know, it was magic for me then, and it's magic for me now. Good to hear. Yes, it was wonderful. Up until 1959, the only way to find out the news was to read it in the paper or listen to the radio. But all that changed with the birth of television news. And our first bulletin went to air at 6.15 on this night, half a century ago. When it comes to news, most informed people watch seven. When the news set was wheeled into place for the first time, no one inside the studios of Channel 7 Brisbane quite knew what to expect. I still get a tingle when I think of it. It was an exciting time. Jim Gilbert was the first news cameraman. Instantly, there were big stories to cover. Australia's worst passenger airline crash in Mackay. 29 people killed when their Fokker friendship hit water. And that was, I guess, one of many that I covered throughout Queensland at different times. But being a passenger plane, it hits home at you. Seven's first news editor was Gordon Benjamin. I was a journalist at the Brisbane Telegraph and uh, was offered the job in this new and exciting indus industry. The newsmakers headed to Mount Isa at Flashpoint due to a strike which crippled Queensland's economy. This town has been stunned tonight by the government's proclamation of a state of emergency. The team won the award for best news story in 1962. They tracked down a fugitive moored off the Queensland coast with his family and asked what would happen when authorities came calling. We'll put it on full automatic. In 1974, Brian Carl found himself in the middle of Brisbane's biggest story when his house and 6,000 more flooded. And the thing is a swamp. The two options I had was have a nervous breakdown or pick up a shovel. Brian Carl now produces theatre. Cameraman Jim Gilbert now hosts a radio show on Brisbane's Bayside. Original news editor Gordon Benjamin passed away in July. Brisbane's fourth major cross-river link is nearing completion. Over the years, the faces of the journalists have changed, but not their aim, bringing you accurate news fast. And so, for the past 18,263 nights, we've been bringing you seven news. This week, we commissioned our new digital Gold Coast News Bureau. With the doubling of staff and new technology, crews can now edit and email stories from anywhere in the world. The original newsmen marvel. You cannot compare with 50 years ago is the fact that the, the whole world can be there in your lounge room. And he's quite right. That, that's the magic of it. And look, I, I really am so, so pleased that you want to be back. It is an absolute pleasure having you back. You haven't lost it at all, and I hope we gave you a more comfortable chair this time. No, oh, speak. yes, you did. Very good. Thank Excellent. you, Brian. Right. And now it's time for sport. And Webby, I guess the station's 50 not out, you could say. It's amazing stuff, Sharon, but half centuries were rare for the Aussies in India.